Hey everybody, Ed Button here from Ozark Radio News and the Ozark Radio Network. I'm here with new West Plains Fire Chief uh, Roy Sims. We're getting ready to take a quick tour of station number two here on St. Louis and Myrtle in West Plains. Brand new facility opened up a couple weeks ago. Roy, you ready to go in? You bet. Let's right. look around. Fantastic. The, uh, the parking bay here at Fire Station 2. Uh, how many uh, trucks can you fit in here? Well, we have three uh, back-end bays, but they are 74 feet long, so in some cases we will double up. You know, we'll have two pieces of equipment in, in each bay. Uh, this bay 3 here houses our 100-foot ladder truck, so it, it pretty much takes up the whole bay to our feet. With this truck here, we have a ladder truck in each one of our three stations, so we're proud of that. What area this particular station covers? About what are the boundaries of the station? Uh, the boundaries are pretty much the same as what the station at uh, 302 Jackie D. Garrett covers, which is the downtown area, uh, but it does put us on this side of the railroad tracks with the industrial side over here, somewhere over on Independence is where Station 2, or Station 1 now, uh, coverage comes over and meets right there. Dryer, and uh, turn out your dryer. Today's uh, environments with fires, we have to wash our turn out gear every time we go have been to a structure fire to get the uh, cancer causing elements off of the gear. So we do that, the big washer here, and then this is called an extractor, the dryer. We also drop hose. And hose storage, we have a little bit of our equipment in here. We do have more equipment coming in. So we go in there. We move to the other station. And uh, that's part of the daily routine is, is uh, working out and uh, get the cardio going. First uh, portion of the station, or day room, we call it, uh, guys can. Uh, lounge, sit down on their off time and uh, watch TV, uh, do their different work, studying, whatever they may be doing, and, and uh, do a report on the call they just came off of and connected with the other stations so they can send info, info back and forth or whatever may be, be needed. Oh, so that's the radio station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This will be. Uh, have it installed yet, but when we do have a put our, our radio in, uh, this would be the also the local dispatch room, if you want to call it that. Uh, entrance to our building is basically on the back uh, where the uh, community, you know, uh, uh, citizens can come in. There's a restroom back there, and then can, can make contact with us through this, this door here. My people here, yeah. And I guess these are the rooms. These here. are just individual bunk rooms. Uh, they're not all completely set up at this point because uh, basically we have one firefighter that's on duty just around the clock. So we have one fully equipped bedroom now, and uh, you know with the uh, amenities of home. Uh, this one here is probably considered the main one. Has a bathroom off of it, so that's a really nice feature. Someday when we do get the full cruise, this will be a captain's office and uh, be a captain for that crew. I appreciate the, uh, the interest and glad to know you're going to put this on the website and the guys can, uh, or the, the community can see what we, what we have, what they have helped purchase for us through uh, extending our property, property uh, capital improvement things there and uh, on the tax room. This is where it's brought. City is much better equipped with their fire stations in, uh, in the areas that they're in. So, I'm very excited about the future here in West Plains for the fire department. Definitely, it's a nice facility, and like you said, you know, it wouldn't have been possible without the capital improvement tax from mm -hmm. the residents of West Plains. This is, uh, this is my favorite station. I just really love the, the layout of it. And, uh, you know, my guys are happy being the, with the housing that we have now. So. All right. Well, Chief, thanks for having us. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Ed. Take care of yourself. Thank you.